Welcome to Gainstrap UI Feature Showcase. We'll be showing you the things you can do with Gainstrap UI and Unity's UI system. If you're interested in making a menu from scratch, we suggest you take a look at our other video which shows the process. It's an outdated video so some new features of Gainstrap will not be there. The idea of this video is to color the menu you're looking at right now, which we got from one of the example scenes that Gainstrap has. Let's get started. We'll start by creating our own color palette in the scene and on a UI panel to have as reference. To do this, let's go to the scene hierarchy and add a panel in the UI canvas. We'll then set it to the top left corner and adjust its size. We'll remove the image component of the panel since it's not necessary and add a horizontal layer group component which will help me organize the colors. We'll then create 5 image game objects since we'll be using 5 colors in our menu. Now, let's open up GameStrap's UI kit which you can find in the window at the top of the menu. This custom editor allows you to optimize your UI building and also to help you with color selection and effects. Here we're showing you the suggestion color array, which is a set of predefined colors that you can choose from. We'll be using the gray and the blue color. You can just click on the color and then apply it to the selected UI. Gainstrap also has a scheme generator, which gives you suggestions based in color theory schemes. You can select the color you want as base and it will generate colors for you to choose from. We use the purple color in the analogous scheme, and as you can see, you have five other schemes to choose from that generate different colors. In our case, we'll use the split complement and we'll use that goldenish color for the achievements and ranking icons. Now, the colors we've chosen from the palette isn't the actual final product. You will probably need to adjust the colors based on your design. It's not a science. You have to play with them until you feel like you have a good color palette. Since our menu's background is dark, we'll try to darken the blue and purple colors by selecting the image in the UI and changing its colors straight from there. As you can see, you can change its saturation and value numbers to get the desired results. As for the goldenish color, we'll want to desaturate it a little bit. Once you have chosen your colors in your palette, we'll start by using one of my favorite GameStrap features, which is the Scene Color button. This feature gives you a color array with all of the colors you're currently using in the scene. That way you can save a lot of time when assigning them to your UI. We'll select the main camera and start setting the menu background by changing its background color. After that, it's pretty straightforward. Just select the UI you want, click on the color you want to assign, and then press the Apply Colors to Select UI button. Do this for all the UI you want to assign. Aside from assigning colors, you can also assign fonts to multiple UI elements without having to go specifically to the game object with the text component. If you ever had to do this, you'll know it's a pain to change the font to multiple text at once. With GameStrap, you can just select the elements or even the main canvas and it will go through the children of the elements and look for the text component to change its font. With GameStrap, we can also add effects to the UI elements such as shadow and grading. As you can see, you can select the element and just click on the shadow checkbox and set the selected effect. You can even change its value to your needs. With this, we'll set it to a darker color of the original one. Here's an example on how the gradient effect will look. But for now, we'll just set these buttons up, just like the blue one, up there. With this, we've pretty much covered all of the features that GameStrap UI Kit offers. They should be able to optimize a lot of your work and even help you get better results in your design. Now, aside from the custom editor, GameStrap also gives you a set of prefabricated UI elements to help you make UI faster. For example, we have created a scroll list, which you can do straight from the default UI in Unity, but with this, you don't have to go through the whole process of set setting it up. GameStrap also comes with more than 70 sliced shapes for you to use in your UI. It's a great base to use if you don't have time to create your own. Or you can even change the shapes there since they're all in Photoshop files. Here are some examples of the shapes you can use. Alright, with this we have shown you all of the features that GameStrap UI offers at this moment. If you liked it, you can find us in the Unity Assets Store. We'll also post the links below just in case. That is, if you aren't already watching from the store. <laughs> If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.